The war on drugs. So what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is this incredibly growing amount of addiction that we have, the rate of addiction in our world. And what's really sad about it is that the drug dealers are often our medical colleagues. Well-meaning, misinformed, misled, maybe a little brainwashed by their medical education. They're handing out prescriptions in their all too short visits. And these prescriptions have really dire consequences that the patient is never told going in. For example, opiates. They're given opiates, maybe some surgery, some knee pain, some back pain, whatever. Not told that this is addictive. And depending on the genetics and other aspects of their lives, they can become addicted. And often what happens is the doctor realizes, oh, I can't keep prescribing the opiates. And there are limits. Um, the, the medical board looks askance at you if you're ordering too many opiates. So they're cut off. And what happens? They go to the street to get them, especially young people, 18 to 25. They have been prescribed, legally prescribed drugs. They're off the opiates. They go out in the street. They get heroin because Oxycontin's more expensive get heroin, shoot up, and there are quite a few accidental overdoses. And that's heartbreaking. So that's the opiate issue. Then there's the antidepressant and um, benzo and sleeping pill issue. How many prescriptions are written? One in four women are on psychotropic medications. This is terrible. What are we doing? We're creating, we're creating brain problems, we're creating more depression, more insomnia, more anxiety, because what happens in many people is that these drugs stop working. Why do they stop working? Because they're actually depleting the brain of the um, nutrients that it needs to make neurotransmitters, magnesium, zinc, B vitamins, uh, serotonin. You actually deplete serotonin with the SSRIs. <laughs> And that's why these drugs kind of stop working. They add other drugs, increase the dose, whatever happens. So these patients come to me and they are wrecked. They, they're depressed, they're anxious, they can't sleep. They may have the side effects of, for example, the SSRIs, sexual side effects, um, nausea, insomnia, the things that they were given the drug for in the first place, uh, and even worse, suicidal and homicidal feelings and sometimes actions, and that is tragic. That is totally tragic. So. What's this all about? Why, why does this happen? Because we have down-regulation. The brain is made to be in balance. There's homeostasis. And we, when we interfere with the homeostasis with these drugs that are not part of our being, they're not part of our chemistry, brain changes happen. And when you take the drug away, okay, when you start to take the drug away, the person has really bad withdrawal symptoms. We've all seen this, right? And the doctor says, see, I told you you need to be on the drug. But actually, the withdrawal is worse. They have worse symptoms than when they first went on the drug. So what's the solution here? And I, I, again, I see many, many of these patients. The solution is to help them safely and effectively get off the medication while supporting the brain function, using our functional medicine knowledge to look under the hood to see What's going on? Why were they depressed in the first place? Let's look at some biochemistry. Let's look at some hormones, some thyroid, leaky gut, uh, food sensitivities, infection, Lyme disease. We need to look at all of this. So solve the problem at the root cause, help them very safely, slowly, get off the medication, support them with other nutrients. I, I describe this in my addicted brain and how to break free, and get them off the medication so that they can go back to living very happy, productive lives, having relationships, good relationships with their kids, being good parents. Um, they can go back to work. A lot of them actually had to quit work because they've had such problems with their medication. They couldn't stay on them. They couldn't get off them. They were really trapped. So as functional medicine practitioners, I'm asking you to be beacons, to teach, to teach your community, to teach your patients. And functional forum is such a perfect forum for talking about these kinds of issues so that you have healthy patients, so that they can become, again, they can become beacons and explain it to other people about why they're not on medication. So the bottom line is just say no, N-O, to drugs. Also, K-N-O-W, 
which is know your options, know your healthy options, look under the hood, treat the underlying cause. So say no to drugs. Woo!